On the lesson T when I'm coaching clients, I often refer to golf swing drills as medicine. So if I'm a doctor and you come and see me with an illness, I say to you, okay, this is the diagnosis, you've got this illness and you need to take this medicine to get better. And if you came to see me as a golf coach and you're slicing the golf ball, I might say, okay, the diagnosis is you're slicing the golf ball. This is the reason why you're slicing the golf ball. Practice these drills and you'll stop slicing the golf ball. These drills are your medicine. Now, as we know, medicine does not work if we do not take it. You can't just have the tablets on the corner of the shelf in the bathroom and expect to get better. Likewise, you can't just come for a golf lesson or watch this video series and expect to get better just because you know the medicine or you know what you need to do. You've actually got to get out there and do it. And that's why we encourage golfers to do drills. So drills are the homework or the medicine that you take away from the golf lesson or this video series, and then you work on improving your technique. Now, the important thing about the drills is that they're often really good feelings and quite often exaggerations for a movement. So the reason I stress the part about exaggerations is I see so many golfers that have a fault, know what the fault is, but they can't commit to making the change big enough. Let's just take one very simple example of swinging the club up and down on the right line. We see a golfer swing the club back on the right line, but we see a golfer swing the club down on the wrong line. They're swinging too much from the outside, which will result in a slicing shot for a lot of golfers. And that's pretty common. So on line back and then swinging the club down here. Now I might say to the golfer, I want you to swing the club up and down on the same line. The golfer tries that, but they don't commit enough to the change and they still swing it over here by the time we get to the next lesson, they haven't improved enough. So what I might say is as a drill, I want you to take the club back here, but bring the club back down here. So I've exaggerated the change. I've given them a feeling of overcooking something, making something a bigger change. And I might back that up with a feeling or an exercise to encourage that. Ultimately, that is not the position we want to get the golf club into in the long term. But we've also got to break the habit. We've got to break that potential muscle memory of the club going into the wrong position. So over-exaggeration in drills is a really key part of seeing a golfer improve and improve really quickly. So take that feeling on board using a drill. Then when you go on the golf course and you instinctively, naturally soften that chain slightly, you'll still be in a really, really good position. So exaggerate your drills, take your medicine and your golf swing will improve quicker in the long term.